Make sure to be a member on the channel, link is in the description. Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video. So, let's thank our members first. Sila, Miastrupub, Patrick, Lafouche and Vivi. Thank you for being a member, it helps a lot. Be a member if you want to help the channel and make sure to subscribe. Let's get into it, join our Discord as well. I always forget to say that. So today we're going to talk a little bit about the F4M or the F4K and the F4K to be honest. Uh, or the FGR2 and the FG1, uh, the British Phantoms. So, uh, as you know, they were one of the greatest aircraft back in the day. And they are kind of not that good right now. Uh, so, yeah, I already talked a little bit about this aircraft on the missiles video. You know, what missiles can be added and stuff like that. But I just wanted to make a video and you know, point out why this is uh, so, yeah, basically uh, we have a very standard uh, platform right now, to be honest, I mean, the F4 is not a bad aircraft, but the more we go to 4th gen and more advanced stuff, the less the F4 will be effective at just with, the, with its performance, you know, so um, without thinking about radars and stuff like that, so yeah it can be a problem just with that of course uh, because it doesn't turn very well of course and uh, in these variants you need to actually use the gun pod which uh, decreases a lot of the performance of the aircraft uh, and especially this one which is one of the most interesting uh, force in the game because it has the Rolls Royce engines and that makes it so that it's very very fun to fly and very different you know um, yeah that guy was he broke his wing <laughs> and basically gave the kill for me but yeah uh, it's an aircraft that it's very standard doesn't have anything going for it to be honest because it is obviously a 60s design and stuff like that but obviously the engines together with the pulse doppler radar even though it's not the greatest pulse doppler radar ever uh, the apg 59 can be effect effective you know it has a very large and very problematic blind speeds as you see on the radar right there and other thing that it's problematic it only has the pulse doppler vertical even um, velocity even though it doesn't have the v on the side of the pd there it's only showing the velocity of targets going towards you or away from you so it is kind of a problematic radar to deal with sometimes uh, and the engines even though they are good you don't have an internal cannon so yeah you don't have the slats uh, like the other FREs for example so it is just a very problematic aircraft and and to be honest even though you can get a lot of kills with it uh, just because the sky flash can basically make you do stuff like this uh, or miss to be honest because I thought that it was a kill but it was not uh, but you know uh, stuff like this that can be very problematic uh, the missiles can be very good but in certain situations the sky flash is not by far the, the best missile in the game, uh, I uh, radar guided, uh, and the M9G is really not that good as well. Uh, I still think that we will see the tornado coming very very soon for the British, uh, soon for the British. So I think the the tornado ADV Def 2 maybe will come very very soon, uh, but we don't know yet. And until we get to know that, I still think that uh, the F4s are. They are alright, uh, but they are not the greatest thing ever, you know, they are a very high BR, they are 11.3 and they kind of don't have anything going for them uh, besides the sky flash to be honest, because everything that they have is kind of mediocre, it doesn't mean that you cannot fly properly with it and you can kill a lot of F-14s and MLDs and stuff like that, but it's just a matter of the missile is kind of, the missiles are kind of bad and if you use the cannon the performance is kind of weird as well so uh, my proposal is just to add the A9L to this aircraft uh, I'm going to make one more video uh, around F4s as well around the F4F uh, that uh, it should get the, the A9L as well but uh, I still think I, I don't know if the FG1 actually used the A9L uh, so maybe the BR could be lowered for it and we are maybe expecting a BR change very soon because you know it's kind of problematic there's tons of aircraft that needs BR changes like the A7E, like the uh, Su-17 M2, 
the Su-22 M3, you know, there are a ton of aircraft that need BR changes, um, and the F4 can be one of those, uh, at least 11.0, uh, without the, the A9L, you know, uh, maybe the FG1 can receive uh, the 11.0 BR, and the FGR2 uh, can receive the A9L being top tier as well, together with the Tornado having the A9L as well, and the Sky Flash as well. Uh, it would be a very good uh, tech tree that you have there. Uh, I know that the I don't know if the Sky Flash can be improved. Uh, there is certain engines that can be used in the Sky Flash would that would make the Sky Flash have the same energy as an M9F. But I don't know if the F4 actually used that missile. It was uh, an upgrade from the from the 90s, if I'm not mistaken, uh, with that engine. So I don't think the F4 actually used that missile, but uh, the Tornado sh sure did. Uh, together with its radar, it will be a very good addition. Uh, so maybe if the Tornado even comes to the game, uh, we don't even need uh, the M9L for this aircraft, for the F4M at least. Uh, but it would be great to see F4s like this having specific types of uh, good armament to actually deal with targets, you know. Uh, the Sky Flash is alright, I think it's not an R24, it's not an M7F, but it's not a, a Spite, uh, but it's still very capable. It's just not a very good BVR weapon, you know. Uh, just like any M7E, they are not very good at long range engagements, they are better, I mean, the, the normal E is, it's bad at everything, to be honest, but the E2 is very good at short range stuff. Uh, but at longer ranges, it's, I mean, longer ranges, I mean, pass beyond like 8 kilometers. I think the M7F is just way better than the Sky Flash in the E2. But it's just a matter of uh, the way that you need to use the aircraft, you know. You can uh, receive stuff, uh, you can use it uh, as a, a dogfight weapon, uh, but it is just weird, you know. But still, you can use it, as you see on the gameplay, on the background, I use it a lot as that and together with uh, the best usages of the pulsed operator it can be very effective as you're going to see with that this shot uh, it is a shot that i actually hit it with the first but i thought the missile was going to miss and i ended up shooting another one by complete mistake but you know so the sky flash can be very effective it's just a matter that the m9g is kind of even though i got kills in this br with it uh, it is kind of problematic and using the cannon you don't have the turning capabilities and everything else like that so it is just a matter of making the F4K and the F4M a little bit more competitive I think they are very interesting aircraft and they kind of deserve that you know uh, the same way as the MLD deserve the R60M maybe not right now but in the future uh, it deserves it I think every aircraft should receive these type of um, ammunitions if they used in real life uh, but if it is obviously balanced you know you don't have to just add something just because it's it was in the aircraft itself in the real life but still I think uh, an AIM-9L uh, and to be honest I mean the AIM-9L is not the most the OP thing that everybody thought it would be I don't know if it's kind of capped right now for balancing purposes you know uh, but uh, you know Gaijin did actually nerf or it was a bug or something on the autopilot back in the day uh, but now it's fixed that and the missile is very very good one of the best IR missiles in the game uh, yeah friendly friendly fire there uh, but uh, it is one of the best missiles in the game IR missiles uh, but it's still limited in some aspects you know uh, so uh, you have to just think that it's not that OP, you know, I think Gaijin is very scared of putting all aspect missiles in top tier aircraft right now, and to be honest, I don't think it's that big of a deal, uh, flares are very effective against uh, these type of missiles, so it is just a matter of situational awareness, you know, in head-ons, to be honest, it's very, very easy to just ignore a target and ignore a missile and just flares and you don't even have to avoid the target uh, the missile you know so it is just a matter of I think we should get the um, A9Ls uh, in 
M9P4s for many aircraft that use that, uh, R60Ms for the MLA MLD. I don't think that changes too much in the meta. I think uh, maybe the statistics will tell me wrong, you know, uh, but because they uh, actually add the, the R60M, for example, on the MiG-23M and they didn't change the BR, so I guess, I mean, they didn't lower the BR and they didn't uh, get the BR higher than it was. It's still 11.0, so I would guess that these statistics tell that the aircraft is alright, is not losing so much uh, as it was back in the day, but that it that is being helped by the MiG-23 MLD as well. So this could be a thing about that as well. Uh, maybe the, I mean, the F4M probably don't have the best stati statistics right now or the best gameplay ways of doing everything, uh, but uh, maybe together with a tornado in the team and being together with other very effective aircraft, uh, it is a very, uh, it can be very effective without the A9L. But I, as I said, I don't think the A9L is a um, thing that it will completely change the meta and it will just break the game or doesn't change anything. I, I think it's a very good sweet spot of just getting a, a little bit more of a performance on the IR guided stuff, you know. So yeah, I still think that this needs the A9L, but I might be wrong, you know, uh, this might be... Um, you know, too much for for right now. Uh, maybe in the future, because you know, you we have compression obviously in in War Thunder, and that just becomes a, a problem uh, when aircraft like these, um, like the F4s, like the MiG 23Ms, MiG 21 bases, start facing stuff like the MiG 29, for example, in the future, or F16, or even the F14. So yeah, I think it's. It's a problem that we need to face, uh, but I think it's just a matter of time until these aircraft actually receive a new missile. Um, I don't know, maybe. Tell me in the comments what you think about that, and yeah, just let's uh, let's uh, comment a little bit on this match. It was a very good one. Therefore, things was ju were just getting stomped by the MLDs and stuff, and we were just able to get a couple of kills. Uh, as you're going to see. I mean, a lot of people just don't know how to use some aircraft properly. Not that I do, you know. Uh, I'm not saying that I do, you know. But still, uh, there is ton of improvement to be done in gameplay sometimes. So, yeah, and that was a very optimistic shot for both of those missiles. Uh, and I saw the F-14 behind me. Uh, this was a problem, but I had a MiG-23 coming up to help me. Uh, but I knew that the F-14 was very, very fast, and I mean, even though I'm literally a brick, flying brick, as you're going to see, and it produces a lot of heat, as you saw, the missile almost went for me, I managed to make the F-14 overshoot, because it was too fast, even for me, like a flying brick that I'm flying, and got the reversal on it, and critical, and he's down. Uh, he's just burning, actually, he's going to stay alive for a little while, but I decided to go to help the Mirage there. It was a Mirage F1. It's not the greatest thing ever, but uh, it is very dangerous with its uh, magic too, so, so you have to be careful, at least with its missiles. <laughs> not that you need to be careful with the aircraft itself, but yeah. Ed, Fox 2. Completely missed that. Go for the guns and got the kill. Realized that the F-14 was coming towards us. Prepared the sky flash. Missile away. And last kill. So I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. And I see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.